But now we will start our webinar. My name is Michael Babayev. I'm Neurosoft Company Product Manager in EMG, EP, and ERG. And today uh, we'll talk about some use in Neuromap.net program, some nice and uh, very excellent features. But at first, at first, it, it will be very small part of our presentation. I'll only remind you uh, what EMG machine can you buy in Neurosoft company and how to do examination very fast. Let's go to our site, neurosoft.com. And here you can see that we produce a wide range of EMG machines. We can have, we have two channel device Neuromap Micro, three channel device Lightbox, five channel device Skybox. All these devices are unique in the world because uh, they are all in one box. In one box, you have amplifier channels, four stimulators, electrical, auditory, flash and pattern, dedicated keyboard and screen. It's only necessary to add a set of electrodes and a computer from maybe notebook and it will be a full functional EMG machine. Also, we have another approach to EMG machines, Neuromap 4. It is a modular system. It can contain four, eight, 12 or 16 amplifier channels and as many stimulators as you like. You can add uh, stimulators to this uh, combination and you can create your own system, especially for your needs. I've already tell you about our devices and here is the full list of our AMG devices. And here it is solutions solutions for specific medical fields. Okay, and now let's go to our program and I'll tell you a few words, how to work with our AMG system. Our program is standard Windows program. You can use here main menu and you can work with it via menu. And also we, we have some uh, toolbar buttons that only duplicate some menu commands. Here on start page also we can have, we have some big buttons, a list of exam templates and exam manager. In exam manager, you can see previously done examinations. How to create new examination when you see a new patient? It's possible to do with this button, new exam. Also, we can press F2 button on the keyboard. And uh, also you can use some menu command, exam new. Okay, we click here. And now we see the uh, exam window. Here it's necessary to input patient data. This uh, window is fully customizable. It's possible to change the fields that will be here. You can add some fields, remove some fields, change the size and so on. It can be very small or can, can be very big. Here we have to type patient name. Sorry. For example, this one, then I press tab key and go to patient sex. I can toggle patient sex with the space key. Then I mm, type tab key two times. And here it's necessary to input birth date. For birth date, you have to input to type only six digits without using a mouse and without using some other keys. For example, zero six, 1167 and then tab key. It's here we are, it's ready. Some reference values in the program depends on patient height. 
So it will be better to input patient height here. For example, it is be useful for F, wave or H reflex. For example, 178. You can input some other fields or not input, and then we click OK and go to the clinical info window. In this window, you can type any information about analysis, about patient examination, visual examination, and so on. And then our task is to select technique, uh, recording site, stimulation site, and so on. In our program, we had, have a lot of different techniques, uh, more than 60 techniques. Full list of techniques you can see here, test new. In this window, in this window you can select any technique as you like and any um, test template. But we have here a special toolbar with the most common technique. Now we have to select three choices, technique, muscle nerve, and patient site. And these three choices can be done with only two mouse clicks. For example, I would like to select motor conduction velocity. And then I select recording site, medianus APB, and uh, patient site, right? Two mouse clicks. Now I don't have EMG machine. I turn on emulation mode, click OK. If, for example, I don't remember where to place electrodes, I can press F1 and see help window where to place recording electrodes and stimulating electrodes. First site will be wrist. I have to put all electrodes. I can measure impedance and then I can start stimulation. It can be single stimulation of this button or repetitive stimulation of this button. But more convenient is to use them buttons on the device keyboard. Let's start stimulation. Now we are in demo mode. We are working without uh, device and without patient. It is useful for some demonstration purposes, for some learning purposes. Now I increase stimulus intensity. You can see that response also increases. I can put it into analysis with this button or from the button on the device. Then we go to the elbow, stimulate elbow and record some other traces. We also can increase sensitivity and put trace into analysis. Now we have two traces. But as you can see, first trace has a lower amplitude than second one. It is a technical error because here, when I record recorded this first trace, the stimulus intensity was too low, too low. I have to change this trace to another one. How to do it in our system? Very easy. This, you can press F4 button or this button click and we overwrite this trace and we can start stimulation now. Increase stimulus intensity and put it into analysis. Now you can see we change the trace to another one. Moreover, you can overwrite as many traces as you like and you can later select what trace to put into analysis with these two buttons, F5, F6. You can see I can select another trace here. After we have to input uh, distance, distance, conduction distance. Here you can see we have some uh, values by default in the test template, but in reality it's necessary to measure these uh, distances and input real values. How to input real values? You can do it with mouse click, but more convenient to use device keyboard and press F2 button and then rotate some knob on the device and increase or decrease this value. If you want to change the market position, it can be done with the mouse or also it can be done with the device keyboard. And all parameters are calculated automatically. Amplitudes, latencies, velocities. Then we can go to some other 
test, for example, to F wave test. And as you can see, we, with one mouse click, we go to F wave test with the same recording site. We can start here stimulation, record F waves, put them into analysis. Then we can go to sensory conduction velocity. You can see the same neural. We can start acquisition with averaging. Then we can stop it and put it into analysis. Then we can, for example, go to the needle EMG and select quantitative EMG, for example, deltoidus. And here uh, you can record spontaneous activity, motor unit potentials, and interference pattern in one test. Now we'll go to motor unit potentials. If you don't remember where to insert a needle, you can also press F1 and see this point. And then we start acquisition. By default, in our system, it is automatic mode. Automatic mode. Here, for a doctor, it is necessary only to place ground electrode, to insert a needle, and to ask a patient to make small muscle contraction. And then doctor task is only to make small needle movements so that the button near the trace will have green color. Green color means that uh, this is a good response and we can start, start acquisition with this button or with the button on the device. And when uh, epoch analysis finished, acquisition stops automatically. Now I would look um, to tell you about some new feature. Now you can continue acquisition you can continue averaging with the same uh, motor unit potentials with this button. We can continue it. But it is very important to tell you that in this situation, it's necessary to maintain the same muscle contraction and do not change needle position because we continue to average the same motor unit potentials. We can place them into analysis. And I would like to show you how our system can work in noisy situation under noisy circumstances. For example, here it is a real recording from the patient. As you can see, it is noisy one, but our system can um, select automatically can select motor unit potentials in this situation. Only you can see that some button color are red maybe or yellow it means that these motor units doesn't have a high quality but in this situation we can record signal yes we can take for example this uh, potential into analysis or not here to toggle this one you can use a right mouse click or this checkbox okay and we can do as many tests as you like, and then we have to create report. It can be done with only one mouse click. You can create a report. Here it is a report with all necessary tables and uh, graphs, and uh, this report is customizable. You can change it. Also, I would like to show you some new feature. Now in the glossary, by default, we have a lot of different phrases. And it is very easy to input these phrases into a report. At first, I have to click, make a mouse click in the point where I would like uh, to input this phrase, put cursor here. And then to input such a standard phrase, I only make one mouse click. One mouse click, one mouse click, and you can see these phrases in the report. Also, you can see such um, phrases with the lists how to use them. We make one mouse click, and then we have to select a side, left side, for example, or right side. That's all, very easy. All these uh, lists are customizable, so you can add your own phrases, or you can change existing phrases here with this button, with this small button. Okay. After our task is to print report, and then we can save it, save it, and close. 
close examination. How to uh, do some examination in our system? It is very easy. And now let's go to the biggest part of our presentation. What's new in our system now? At first, I would like to tell you that not all of these features are present now in the release program version. Some of them presents now only in debug program version, but you can ask for debug program version and they will be in release maybe in one or two years. New techniques, what new techniques we have added to our system during the last two years. One of these uh, new techniques is threshold tracking transcranial magnetic stimulation. It is special technique that needs not only EMG machine, but special version of transcranial magnetic stimulator from Neurosoft company that can produce paired magnetic stimuli. Maybe you know that a few times ago we realized paired magnetic stimulation and it can be done now, but this classical paired magnetic stimulation has some legs because maybe you know that if you apply the same stimulus intensity, magnetic stimulus intensity transcranial, you will get different uh, responses. The amplitude of responses is variable. It can be, difference can be few times, few times, very big. So it is very difficult to analyze data. And here in threshold tracking technique, we use another approach. In a classical technique, we only change interstimulus interval and use the same stimulus intensity. But in this threshold checking technique, we not only change the interstimulus interval, but we also change stimulus intensity and control stimulus intensity and try to maintain the same response, the, the same amplitude of response we try to maintain. And uh, stimulus intensity doesn't have such variability as response. It has only variability in one, two percent. So it's very stable data. And moreover, during this technique, our system tried to hunt for the threshold, for the arrest threshold. For example, you can see here uh, blue dots. We maintain, try to maintain the same a level of a threshold uh, for arrest threshold. And here it is uh, the result in graph. You can see here interstimulus interval and here threshold change. And here we can see, uh, we can see inhibition and here facilitation. And uh, this technique is used for examining uh, the inhibition and excitation circuits in the brain. Another technique, stepwise sweep visual evoked potentials. It is steady state evoked potentials with reversal pattern. And uh, this technique is useful for determining the visual acuity. It is objective technique for visual acuity. Maybe you know that uh, usually we uh, try to define visual acuity with some table with the big characters. But sometimes it's not possible to use this table, for example, for small baby, for children, and for some inadequate patients. And so you can use this stepwise sweep visual work potentials. Multifocal visual work potentials. I'm sure you know that a few times ago we realized multifocal electrotinography test. And with uh, that test, it's possible to create a topographical map of uh, retina sensitivity. Topography we can examine of the retina. And in uh, this multifocal visual evoked potential test, we can create topographical map, not only for the retina, but for the full pathway that includes the retina, a visual nerve and visual cortex. 
Another technique, Muni CMAP scan. Now we have four different techniques for motor unit number estimation. First one of them is incremental, Muni. Second is MAP decomposition, motor unit potential decomposition. Third of them is Munich's techniques uh, that is very popular now. And uh, this one is fourth, Muni CMAP scan. In this technique, we apply a lot of stimulus uh, to the nerve. Uh, usually it is 500 stimulus. And we change the stimulus intensity from the supramaximal to the lower, to the threshold, as you can see here. And we record a lot of uh, M waves. And then we can analyze this uh, graph and analyze the gaps that we can see in this graph. Another technique, cutaneo silent period. This technique is useful when you would like to examine small sensory fibers. It is a reflex response. We stimulate uh, sensory fibers and uh, record a response from the muscle. It, it's look like a magnetic stimulator silent period, but here we use uh, uh, electrical stimulator. As you can see, interference pattern because muscle is contracted. At zero time, we apply electrical stimulus and with some delay, we can see silent period. Combined sensory index is not additional technique, but it is additional test template in sensory conduction velocity. This test template is useful for carpal tunnel syndrome. He, he is, it is necessary to record six traces from different nerves, from medianus, radialis, ulnaris. And then we calculate uh, three differences. For example, here medianus radialis, thumb difference, and so on, three differences. And some of these three differences will be combined sensor index. In normal, it should be lower than uh, 0.9 millisecond. Okay, and now let's go to some interface and analysis change in the program. At first, we added exam template list on start page, as I previously have shown you. Here it is, this list. Previously, it was necessary to go to new exam window and select it from the drop down list. But now you can create examination with only one mouse click and program will accompany you through all necessary tests. Glossary in default settings, I've already shown you. In this glossary, you can um, change phrases, add new phrases, create groups, and so on. It's very easy to create conclusion. We change CMAP removing in F-wave test. At the left side, you can see uh, the standard picture just after the recording of the F wave. And F wave are on the, have some trend here, some trend. It is not um, very convenient to work with. And on the right side, you can see the same traces, but this trend is removed with only one menu command. I have to tell you that at any time, it's possible to toggle between these two views because we save uh, these source traces and they are saved in the examination and can be done visible at any time. Moreover, you can change the settings of the program so that just after acquisition, you will go to this view. Now we add a special uh, mode for blink reflex, it is four panel mode. Because we have two recording sites and two stimulation sites, so it's possible to put traces in four panels. Moreover, we add some checkbox, one set of markers per stimulus site. And if this checkbox is checked, you will have only one set of markers inside in um, one quadrant. And if you, for example, put in any quadrant, another markers, previous one will be removed. So it is uh, very easy to analyze data. 
We add EMG feedback, feedback in the vestibular evoctomyogenic potential test. Because when we record uh, the signal from the uh, neck, from the neck muscle, it's necessary to maintain uh, the same level of muscle contraction during uh, the recording and for the left and the right side. And now you can show this EMG monitor to the patient and patient task will be only to maintain uh, the level of the muscle contraction so that the arrow will be inside this uh, green sector. Also, you can online change the minimum and maximum EMG values. We add marker synchronization in decrement test. Maybe you know this button, we added it a long time ago. And with this button, you can change the view, you can superpose traces horizontally. For example, this is initial view, this is cascade of the one series. And if you press this button, you will go to such a picture when uh, the traces are superposed. But now we li a little bit change the function. And in this view, when you will drag any marker, begin or end marker, all markers on all traces will be moved synchronously. So with function, with this function, it will be very easy to uh, correct the position of the markers. We add new window that it is possibility for average of superposed traces, this new button. For example, here you can see somatosensory work potentials. We have three channels and three attempts. And as you can see, uh, these traces are noisy and they are noisy every time. But if doctor would like to get a better picture, better view, it's possible to average all these traces and get only one result. How to do it? Use this button. When we superpose the traces and uh, click this button, we will go to such a window, average window. In the left side of this window, you will see source traces, and at the right side, the result of averaging, averaging result. You can use these checkboxes to include some traces into averaging or exclude them from the averages for the better result. And if you will get a good result, you can click OK. These initial traces will be hidden and these new traces will be placed uh, instead of them. Now it's possible to create PDF report without PDF creator. Maybe you know that from some uh, hospitals, from some clinics, we get such demand that uh, when the doctor finish examination, create report and close the examination, the report should be copied to some folder. Usually it is a hospital information system. Previously, for this purpose, it was necessary to install PDF Creator program. But now, now we have changed the situation and we use a PDF printer that is embedded in Windows operation system. We add zoom button for trace viewer. And with this zoom button, you can expand trace viewer for full screen. Also, we add such a button for any graphs and for tables. I would like to show you how it can be done inside the program. For example, I will open HReflex and hit is uh, these buttons. I can click these buttons and as you can see, I can see only traces on the screen. And all functions are available now. You can change market position, or for example, you can um, use some menu commands from the context menu and so on. And uh, if you'd like to return, you only click escape button, or for example, you can click this close button, very easy. 
Also, you can see such a button on the graphs. For example, here I can press this button and uh, the graph begin, becomes bigger. Moreover, I can see more details, not only increased, but it have more details now. Also another one. And if I would like to close it, it is very easy. I only press escape button or I can click on this uh, cross or moreover, I can click mouse outside this window. It, it will be closed. And with a table also can be done. For example, here it is a table with scroll bars, but if I click this button, I can see full table now, full table. Moreover, the font, font in this table is increased, is bigger. We add averaging progress bar in the acquisition window. Previously, if you are, for example, far from the screen near the patient, you have to look for these uh, numbers preset and done, they are very small. And now we add this green bar and it can be visible from the very long distance and you can watch this bar and understand on what stage is averaging process. Now it's possible to make multiple try selection with measuring rectangle. Let's return to the program. I'm sure you know about this rectangle. With this rectangle, it's possible to measure, to make some fast measurement of uh, intervals and amplitudes. And at how it can be done. I press shift key, and then I press left button on the mouse and drag a mouse. Very easy. But now when you drag the mouse on the screen, you will select all traces, all traces that will be inside this measuring rectangle. So, for example, you select few traces and you can apply some group operation for these traces. Maybe, for example, filtering, you can filter this all traces at the same time. Yes. Or maybe you would like to delete or hide all traces. It can be done with uh, this um, special tool. Previously, it was necessary to select few traces with control button. This way. Now it's possible to input blood pressure in heart rate variability test. As you can see, we have a few checkboxes now, so it can be done for each test type individually and individually at the start of uh, the <clears throat> test and at the end of the test. And if this checkbox is checked, you will see this request about blood pressure and you have to measure and to input these digits and after it you will see them into analysis window also we add scattergram in heart rate variability test and we add online readmogram in heart rate variability test when you record ecg signal you will see at the same time this readmogram in online in real time also, you can see here heart rate, heart rate that is calculated at the end of the ECG signal. And also we add online breath indicator for breath, deep breath test in heart rate variability. It is special animation for the patient. Patient will see inspiration, expiration, inspiration, expiration. And also we have a sound look like so the patient can control uh, his or her breath with a needed rate. Maybe you know that a few years ago we had special mastication activity test in the program and now we made some change in this test. We add Chevin analysis. Now it's possible to place uh, markers here at the start and at the edge of the clench. And we add new grid here, new table. 
where there is maximum and mean amplitude, Chervin cycle, pole cycle, and so on, a lot of different information. Now it's possible to create a jitter test from motor unit potential test. It's not a secret that for a long years, doctors do not use special jitter needle and they record single fiber action potentials with the same concentric needle then they record motor unit potentials. I would like to show you how it works. I'll create QMG test. And now we have to select some source trace. How can we go to source traces in motor unit potentials? With this button, native and uh, analyzable traces. I can click this one time and one time more. And as you can see here, we have a lot of source traces. For example, I can select one of them. And then via menu, context menu, I select jitter analysis selected. And as you can see here, we got single fiber action potentials because it is the same signal, only analysis parameters, recording parameters, uh, have different values. Okay. Also, any native motor unit potentials trace now can be used for playback. How to, it works? We can, can take, for example, some long trace and select here from the context menu trace for device playback. And now, now, when we start acquisition, this trace will be used for the acquisition. Why it is useful? If you would like to make some reanalysis, you would like to reanalyze data, or maybe you would like to make some demonstration. So it is very useful feature. And also in jitter test, in jitter test, also it's possible to take any long trace for playback. You can select it for playback and start this emulation of a real acquisition. Also, we now add demo mode for transcranial magnetic simulation test. Because now it is very popular technique. Also, a lot of doctors now make uh, paired stimulation, uh, threshold tracking and so on. And now it's possible to make, for example, threshold tracking, page stimulation in demo mode. And we add coil temperature in info panel. Why it's necessary? Uh, previously, previously and now, now we have this uh, coil temperature information, but it is on the front panel of the magnetic stimulator. And it's necessary to look on the magnetic stimulator. But sometimes it is far from the doctor, it's not very clear to him. And uh, in uh, some techniques, for example, in paired stimulation, it's necessary to apply a lot of stimulus, stimuli, maybe 100, up to 100 stimuli. And uh, so maybe some situation when doctors start, start stimulation and at the middle program stops and inform him or her that uh, coil is overheated. And now we add this coil temperature in information panel. It is uh, near the eyes of the doctor. And if this bar is near the red area, you can, for example, wait for coil cooling, or you can change this coil to another one. Now it's possible to input name for default montage. It's very small improvement, but very useful. For example, here you can see a test template for short latency somatosensory potentials. And here we have two montages for right and left side. And previously here was default montage. One montage was default and another one was left. But now, now it's possible to change default montage to right. And we have right and left montages, very convenient to use. 
we make some redesign of a leveraging window. We add some panel, some view, when traces are superposed. So in this view, it's very easy to understand what trace is necessary to hide. And moreover, this leveraging window can be shown by only one mouse double click. For example, here we, you can see uh, sensory neurofraction potential. We can make double click here and go directly to the, this leveraging window when we can make some changes in averaging and get a better result. For example, they remove uh, some active traces. We make some changes in this behavior in the behavior of superpose all traces button. For example, if you change the position of the traces manually, you change the position of the traces and then click this button, we will go to such a view when all traces are superposed. But now, now you can make second click on the same button and uh, all the position of the traces will be restored. So here we at first save the position of all traces before we superpose them. Now it's possible to start new examination without patient data input. If you check this checkbox and if you start new examination, it will go directly to the <clears throat> tests without new patient information. It's uh, necessary <clears throat> sometimes for um, screen purposes. <clears throat> Another nice feature, continue map acquisition. Uh, previously, I have shown you th this one. And now I would like to remind you that if you use this continue acquisition, it's necessary to maintain the same a level of muscle contraction and the same position of the needle into the muscle because we continue to average the same motor unit potentials with this function. Also, I would like to tell you that now we add these values with amplitude in four, amplitude of motor unit potentials because some laboratories would like to remove uh, the low amplitude uh, potentials from the analysis just on this stage. We have changed the analysis of mechanomyography, mechanomyography sensor. Maybe not of, all, not of all of you know that we have such a sensor, so I would like to tell you a few words. With AMG machine, it's possible to record only electrical electrical signal from muscles and from nerves. But for example, when we examine tremor, it will be better to examine also the movement of the wrists. And the movement, the mechanical movement can be recorded with such a sensor as accelerometer. And this mechanomyographic sensor from Neurosoft company is a lot of uh, accelerometers. You can buy it and uh, use with EMG machine. And for example, here first trace, it is a signal from uh, EMG channel. You can see this uh, burst of the interference pattern. And another trace, this trace, it is a, a signal from the accelerometer. And now we change the analysis of for accelerometer. Previously it was in microvolts, but it is not um, <clears throat> very good to analyze. And now when the signal is from accelerometer, it is in milli G. G, it is a gravity acceleration. We add a new table, analysis table for evoked potentials. It is uh, totally per parameters. Why it is necessary? For example, you can record somatosensory work potentials, a lot of traces you can record, you can put a lot of markers here, and uh, it will be very difficult to understand what markers uh, is necessary to use for analysis. 
and in uh, this in this table it will be only one value for one marker and for one uh, patient site if you have a lot of markers for example <clears throat> a lot of n nine markers you will get here only one value only one value it will be minimum latency and maximum amplitude now it's possible to high trace by mouse double click. There is a special settings inside uh, test template. For example, here you can see single fiber action potentials in jitter test, very nice potentials. But uh, also we can see some other action potential that some doctors would like to remove. It can be done by mouse click. You can make few mouse clicks here and remove them from analysis. But I think in this situation, it will be better to use measure rectangle that I previously have shown you. We can drag mouse and select on all uh, these uh, traces and then, for example, hide or delete them. We change the behavior of this button. This button sort traces by stimulus by stimulus how it works previously if you click this button all traces will be mm, sort from a lower stimulus level to high stimulus level ascending sort but now we have changed so when you first click this button it will be the same but you can make second click on the same button and the traces will be sorted in this changing order from bigger to lower values of the stimulus intensity. We added velocity in engine tests. Some doctors tell us that it is wrong, it should not be here because of very small distance. But some other doctors would like to have such a value and we add it. By default, it uh, hidden, but you can make it visible and uh, use in analysis. We add pattern distance info to the information panel. Previously, this value was hidden, and sometimes for doctor it was difficult to work, and sometimes it was such situation when uh, the real distance. Uh, have, has another value than the settings in the test template. So now when you create a new pattern work potential test, you will see this value directly in the information panel and you can compare it with the real distance. And you, for example, can move a patient or you can change this value in the test template. We add such uh, new settings as possibility to hide trace instead of deleting it. Because previously some doctors complained that they by mistake delete some uh, very um, useful data and ask how to restore it. And for such doctors, you can check this checkbox. And if this checkbox is checked and you delete trace from the test, it will not be deleted but it will become invisible and later you can make it visible again. Maybe you know that some time ago we had such additional analysis for motor unit potentials as the data for normal phase motor unit potentials at polyphase unit potentials um, separately, separately. So it was two, it were two additional lines in the analysis window. But some doctor asked us to remove this data because they don't use it. And we add some checkbox for the test template. You can check this checkbox and you will not see this data in analysis table and in the report, it will be removed. We add online. CMAP parameters in decrement test. And uh, now 
For example, just after second stimulus in series, you can uh, uh, see and uh, estimate decrement. Now let's go to electroretinography. We made, made some changes in, in oscillatory potentials test. Now it's possible to extract uh, oscillatory potentials from the test of maximum ARG. You can make only one test and get data for two tests. We make some changes in multifocal ERG test. Add some new analysis table. Because some doctors are interested in rings and quadrants only, so we add such a table with only rings and quadrants. And if we start to talk about multifocal ERG, I would like to tell you about some uh, research article. In this research article, authors use our Nerosoft EMG machine. They make electrotinography multifocal ERG test. I think that uh, this article is very important for us and for you. Why? Uh, this authors work in the military institute and they work on the rabbits they use a laser and with a laser they make some damage on the rabbit retina and then they examine this damage the topography and the severity of this damage with our multifocal edge system it is not first uh, publication of this authors, but this last one from 2021, in this last one, they make eftanasi to the rabbit and make histology and then compare histology results uh, with uh, the results that they get uh, from our system. So they compare the data from our system and from anatomy and the results are the same. So it is um, a verification method that can be disproved. It shows us that our uh, device works correctly. And uh, I have some doubts that other devices, other ERG systems goes through such a, a verification process. And if we start to talk about uh, research publications. I would like to tell you that our EMG machines are very popular before researchers all over the world. Now we know about more than 3,000 different publications on many languages. The data of these publications we got uh, with uh, the help of Neurosoft EMG machines on Neuro EMG machines. And here in Neurosoft, we uh, try to collect some research um, publications. It is not very easy sometimes, but we have full text, full text of more than 1,000 publications. Here in Neurosoft, you can uh, take and read these articles and examine them. Uh, 250 of them are in English. And also we have six dissertation and 37 patents. The results of the data of that we are caught from our EMG machines. So our devices are very popular all over the world between researchers. This all, thank you. Here you can see my email address. You can ask me any questions by email.